Alright guys, welcome to my COD live stream. I'm be live streaming for 24 hours, so please like this video. So hey, what's up guys? We're at this U-Haul uh, place right here. We're gonna begin this trailer. We're gonna begin something uh, special you guys will see in a little while. It's gonna be a new build, but this is the trailer we're gonna begin. And I'll catch you guys when we're at the special place. Gonna try to back up. Go right there. So, guys, we're at the place right now. We're gonna begin that truck like right there it's in the middle you just have to get a big uh like forklift thing you got to pick it up off that cliff and has to move one of these cars right here hey guys this is the 1951 i think international truck we're gonna be getting a couple rust holes but inside it's intact for the ear of this car Bad. This junkyard is humongous. Anything cool back there? I can kind of hear the tractor. She's gonna get white right here. Look. This is we in the car now. The shifter. What? All this white. Is all oh, there's the shifter the right there. there. Here. Let's see for a second. Okay. Wipers, lights. Throttle. Choke. Throttle? Uh, How do you throttle it? <laughs> <laughs> What's that other butt right here? A couple cans of uh, starter fluid and stuff. This door not have right here. It's broken. Look at all these sweet cars that they got. A bunch of them. There he is right there with the big tractor. Here's all of his cars he got. And a bunch. <sighs> this guy's pretty old. He wants to sell the truck that we're about to buy and buy a bunch more and to fill up one of these spots. So I'm out of breath. I was just I was just running. But I don't know how he's gonna get this. He has to knock down all or not knock down. Move a bunch of these cars and here's a big hill right here, so he has to pick him up. I'm out of breath. But there's a bunch of cool cars just with the suicide doors. It's really cool. I don't know. I like this kind of car stuff, so me and my dad are just gonna build it. Like rebuild it and uh, build like a rat rod out of it kinda. Be a cool time to spend with my dad and stuff. But here's a fit to him too. Here's the guy coming. So he's about to move this car right here. <laughs> He's trying to flip it. <laughs> He's just dragging it. That's sweet. Now he's probably going to move, move this one right here. Now he's going to move this white car. It's all burning. This is like some raw. Some fluid. So probably should come down right there and uh, get our truck. Put this right in the middle of it. What? Tires aren't even flat. <laughs> now 
not try to move the fiberglass. Can you use fiberglass on that? Yeah, easy. I don't know what he's about to do now. This car right here, the airbag went off. That's the airbag. I've never seen an airbag like exploded like that. He's picking up our car right now. Don't wreck it. It's off the ground. It should be safe. Hopefully it doesn't just slide down. Oh yeah, that back tire is not looking that good. Ah. The back tire is gonna need a new tire for sure. Dude, that looks sweet. I love that truck. I love it too. Awesome. Well, that's Drop it a little lower. Be careful with it, jeez. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Now he got it. Nice and let see. It dropped out of the floor. That's <laughs> sweet. Look at it. It looks so neat. I love it so much. My favorite. Look at this Rolls Royce right here. It's right hand drive, so the steering wheel's on the other side. Focus right there. The right hand drive. I've never seen a car like that. Now I just move all the cars. They just move and move our car out of the way. My mom used to have that car, the GMC Acadia, I think it was. Yeah. You're chilling on my car, dude. You can't pick up the back end like that. Stop. Chill. What is he doing? He's hurting me. He's trying to flip it? Or just turn it? Oh, he got it? He's gonna put it right on the trailer like that. That's sweet. This guy, he has like racks and racks of axles. So many. A bunch of tires and stuff. Cooks Auto Parts if you need any parts. Look up Cooks Auto Parts in Harrison. Got a lot of so he's gonna drop it right there on the trailer. Oh. Looks like a ship of car slow riding. We got it all uh, loaded up and strapped down. I think about like four straps, but now we're about to go uh, pay for it. Good the first time through. I'm not gonna worry about it. <clears throat>
So guys, we just ride back to the cabin safely. <laughs> We're driving down the con the road. Everybody was just staring at it. Breaking their neck breaker. So guys, we just got this stuff called Deep Creek. Like, you put on rusty bolts like the lug nuts and it frees them all up and makes it easy so you don't snap anything. So we're going to spray this whole truck down with these two bottles we got and we got like five more bottles of lube. Yeah, sight, sunny and blue. We just found like maybe the original uh, license plate under this seat right here. So we got to deep treat. We're going to do these lug nuts first. We're going to put it on. Do every single one. So guys, I'm under the cart on this trailer. Uh, we're just gonna take the paint and oil right here. So we're gonna use a scraper and scrape it all off. It, it comes oh, right off. You gotta lube that handle. What handle? Passenger side. Oh yeah. So I'm just gonna lube like that. the bolt I see under here. I got the dry bar and all that bolted. Ah. That hurt it. Squirt all of that up. So we're just gonna throw all this trash away right here and try to take all the rubber off. And it's like cardboard we're gonna rip off so like that just door. Now, so. We're gonna clean up this, this moves. That's it? This, this will probably last that was, up. This definitely will build up to 80. Only 80? Well, cars now only go to like 120. <laughs> so we're gonna start this door. Just fall right off. Pretty much. Stinks like old mildew moldy. So we've got the floor out. There's all this trash. A couple holes right there. Oh, we're gonna vacuum. So we just saw a vacuum and scraped out all the floor. Looks pretty nice over there, it's pretty clean. Now we're just gonna take this uh, seat off and get underneath of it. So we're just taking the seat off of it. Pretty, pretty easy. Now we're gonna vacuum underneath. Glass. So we're just gonna take these pins off to get the seat off and clean the inside right here. That was easy. <laughs> this is all I was holding on. You guys haven't seen what's inside of it yet. It's a really old motor. The motor usually lasts like forever. <laughs> and it says it had 90 horsepower back then. That's not as much as I what would want. Door, there's a huge dent right here. You can't see it because it popped through and we just pushed it out. And, and it looks brand new. Just this little, little corner that we're going to pound out. Probably with a mallet or a piece of wood. I'm trying to get this... Uh, So guys, we're going to take the hood off now. Here's a motor. One right there. Inline six. Pretty old. Everything looks to be on the motor. Don't know if it's on there. It's gonna be a lot of custom work, maybe even a new motor. Black. 
half full. Check it. I think there's something in there. <laughs> Needs to be added some oil. I have to do oil change on it. There's a toilet paper roll in here. You know it's old. <laughs> Definitely gonna need a new. Not sure. That's probably in there. Whatever. Looks like the oil filter. I'm not sure. But I could see people saying that. Put a paper roll in there. <laughs> Perfect. I guess it would work. The, the pulley? Yeah, down in here. It's way down there, see it underneath? Yeah. Way to get underneath and just give it a little deep creep. Alright. That's the pulley right there, that. Oh, this, this thing's side, empty. Huh? This thing's empty. We broke the gas pile, but we're going to see if the throttle moves. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, it moves. It moves. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's not even hooked up to anything. Yeah, that's hooked up to something, but the brake... That's the clutch. What's it doing? Oh, it's hooked up to something. Yeah, it's hooked up to the tranny. Really gasket, do we? Oh, we well, still gonna have to get a new one, but... <laughs> You're not gonna find a new gasket. Yeah. And then it's safe to have all over. We're taking those three bolts off, and then uh, the head should pop out and see the pistons look like. Intact. Get that dirt right there. That's what just fell on there. Right there. That fuzz. So guys, on our way home, a couple of uh, the straps holding down the International, or er, our truck, snapped. We had one across the whole frame. I'm gonna roll it off the trailer. I'm gonna hop in and steer it while it just rolls down there. And mom's gonna film it. So we're having some difficulties. Uh, this tire right here is totally flat. And uh, right here, the frame is on this trailer, so they can't push it off. So we're gonna fill it up with the air compressor and try to get it off again. 
you guys were having some trouble getting, getting it moving. We don't think it's uh, gonna move, so like something like this area right here. If you're locked up, or the motor's probably even seized. So we're thinking some ideas to try to pull it out of the ground and get off this trailer. So now we're gonna try to put this like spike thing in the cement and try to drive away with it. Hopefully it comes out. Take two. Like I fell off and now we're trying. So I think this is our uh, like sixth try, fifth. Just a pain in the butt to get off this trailer. Front wheels roll. Ooh, the ranch are like bowing in or whatever. How do we call that? It's off the trailer! Woo! Let's go!